Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking at Vision Framework uh, and how we can integrate uh, text recognition in SwiftUI. Okay, so we can basically read text from the images using the Vision Framework and the power actually that brings in for like you know, in the form of uh, machine learning and NLP. Okay, so Vision Framework has several usages like uh, it can do face detection text detection barcode recognition image registration and a general image feature tracking okay now in this case uh, we are going to be looking at how it performs the text recognition otherwise known as ocr optical character recognition uh, and then we're going to read uh, basically text out from the image okay so let's go ahead and uh, get started so what we're going to do first thing basically we're going to need an image with text in it so what i've done is basically i've downloaded uh, this uh, famous quote uh, from albert einstein uh, onto my uh, computer and basically stored it inside the assets uh, folder right here so this is the content uh, that we are uh, seeing here and we want to do uh, basically ocr on this image so i've renamed the file as quote and uh, that's what we're going to use for our sample so let's head back into the code all right so inside the code uh, first thing what we're going to do is uh, we are going to import vision framework all right now vision is different from vision kit all right so there are some uh, differences but this is like you know the pure core framework that we are importing here okay so next thing what we're going to do is uh, we are going to create a state variable which is going to store our recognized text okay the text that has been recognized recognized by the vision we're going to basically store that inside the state variable okay now let's go ahead and build our ui so we're going to create a vstack and inside the vstack we're going to have basically a text um, and uh, we're going to just name something here okay and uh, let's go ahead and send the uh, set the font as title and then we're gonna have the image okay so image that we are interested in is named as quote and we can actually refer that as just by calling it as quote okay let's go ahead and make it resizable and uh, let's set the aspect as uh, fit um, okay that way like you know the entire image basically shows up onto the screen okay uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a button here and this button is gonna help us uh, perform the OCR on the image okay so we're gonna say recognize okay and uh, for the action we can basically uh, write the action which is gonna essentially perform uh, the recognition okay now right underneath so let's go ahead and set uh, call uh, OCR function okay so uh, we're gonna come back to this one uh, but uh, right underneath this button we're gonna show a text editor and this text editor is gonna be uh, basically bound to this recognized text where we're gonna be storing our text that way like you know basically whatever has been recognized is gonna show show up inside the text editor okay so we're gonna add some padding around this so we have like a little bit of uh, a breathing room okay and uh, now we are ready for that function so we're gonna create a private function and uh, this function we're gonna call it uh, recognize text okay text there we go all right so this function is going to basically perform the uh, text recognition for us first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get a UI image representation of our image that we have stored because we are going to need the CG the core graphic uh, core graphics version of the image and that you can get using the U UI image okay so let's go ahead and get the image first so UI image 
and we can access the UI image uh, using this newly introduced resource overload, which actually looks at the asset folder and uh, finds uh, the uh, uh, the images that have been stored and we know that we have stored our image as quote because we can also see it here we are calling that here and uh, that is the same image that this is basically uh, now referring to okay now first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to guard let on the uh, CG image CG image representation of this uh, image that we have just gotten so uh, we're gonna take the UI image and we're gonna basically try to cast a CG image or extract CG image out of it okay if this fails we want to return from here because we don't want to perform or proceed uh, from this point forward okay now first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a request handler now we're gonna use something called VN image request handler which actually takes the CG image as a parameter okay and you can see uh, VN uh, image uh, VN image request handler basically uh, takes the core graphics representation of the image so we can actually uh, choose that and we're gonna pass our extracted CG image into this okay now we're gonna create our recognition request using VN recognize text request okay so request is equal to VN recognize recognize text request okay now we in recognize tech re text request uh, basically takes a gives us a completion handler and if we go into this completion handler this actually gives us the access to the request and the error itself so request and if there's any error that might have occurred during the recognition process now what we're going to do is we're going to start parsing the result okay so if there is any error uh, we want to basically handle it like you know we want to see if there's any uh, error that is coming in and this is basically any error type uh, if you look at like you know error uh, optional uh, that's what like you know this is looking at so guard let error is equal to error so if there's any error then uh, we want to basically um, um, yeah we want to extract that and um, we don't want to proceed if there's uh, if there's any error so we should say if uh, error is equal equal nil then proceed otherwise print the error okay there you go all right so we want to make sure we actually and we can force unwrap this one because we know that we want to return from this all right and uh basically what says like you know our body must um okay so let's go ahead and try to build and see where the error is error should be unwrapped okay all right like that okay uh, so let's try what is throwing an error okay so one thing that I forgot to do here is to put a return because we don't want to fall through it is right the error is right we don't want to continue from here if error is not nil okay so uh, we're gonna return from here okay now what we're gonna do is we can extract these results okay so guard let result is equal to request dot results these are the results that uh, basically have came in out of the like you know the request and these re these uh, basically results are of type VN text recognize observation okay so all the recognized observations that have been like you know uh, done so far on the image that has been they have been received inside this result uh, array um, okay the result collection so we're gonna basically take this and I'm gonna say convert it or try to cast it into VN recognize 
recognized text observation okay so basically all the recognized text within the image are going to be like you know uh, stored here if you can cast it that's great because that's what we are expecting otherwise return from here okay so we don't want to continue if we don't have the correct type that we want to display all right now next comes the uh, part where we want to extract the data okay so we're gonna create uh, basically uh, recognized uh, all right okay so whatever has been recognized we want to actually uh, get that so we're gonna reach out to the result and we're gonna basically create a compact map and uh, we're gonna basically get uh, the result for each and uh, we're gonna say result dot top candidate okay so top first item that we want to get okay so top one get the first item and its string okay so this is gonna extract out like you know the top most recognition and these are sorted by like you know the recognition so we're gonna get like the first one and then we're gonna basically update the UI okay so now updating UI is an operation that has to be done on the main thread all this work that's been going on is going on on the background thread okay so we want to move ourselves to main thread using this patch q dot main dot async and then we want to update the recognized text uh, which is basically the state property that we have created here so recognize text update that with the record array and join basically that with the separator which is a new line so if there are like you know multiple uh, texts that have been recognized all these quotes and stuff like that all that are gonna go in this recognized text and we want to join them back uh, and display them as a single string item okay all right so now we have like you know basically our text uh, basically being recognized but we are not executing this request yet we have just created the request okay so let's go ahead and take the request okay and uh, set the recognition level first recognition level basically determines how good like you know the recognition should be now you you can prioritize based on the speed or the accuracy so if you want fast recognition then you actually opt for speed otherwise you actually opt for like you know the accuracy and you can say you can choose one of these options so we're gonna look for accuracy so we're gonna say we want to have like you know this accurate and then we're gonna basically create our do try catch block so we're gonna reach out to our handler perform the request and we're gonna pass the array and the only request that we want to pass in is basically the request that we have just created okay now we're gonna make sure that we actually catch any error that might have um, occurred during the process and we want to print the uh, localized description about that error okay so now we have basically completed we are handling we are basically creating a request and through the handler we are basically executing the request okay now all we need to do is uh, we need to basically call this function recognize text function inside the button uh, okay so let's go ahead and um, refresh our uh, preview and make sure that uh, we have our uh, solution building and then once it's uh, built we basically we see all right uh, i saw basically build fail so that's why i stopped it okay so there is nothing that failed so build succeeded so let's go ahead and resume and now we are going to wait for our view to come alive and we're gonna click on recognize okay so let's go and recognize and as you can see now we have recognized uh, the text now notice there are some flaws in this so these two are basically recognized as six six because they almost look like six these are quotes but they look like six six and these look like nine so 
That's why your text recognition is identifying basically as 6699. Um, those are the things that you want to filter out. Um, but look at the other things. I have no special talent. I have no special as in single line. Talent is in another line. Uh, there's a period right there. I am only is like, you know, the rest of the line passionately curious full stop okay so you can see how accurate uh, the recognition process is where uh, the image was correctly recognized there are only two issues here where like you know these because the way these quotes are marked um, basically it could not recognize so now you know the limitation so whenever you're picking something to recognize you can always either filter those things out. For example, in this case, I want to filter out if there is any number written on it, or I can actually just have user modify it. And that was one of the reason why we had this as the text editor. So after clearing those things out, we can see that we have the correct recognition. Okay. With that, we have reached the end of this video where we actually learned how we can basically perform a simple OCR using the vision framework. This is it for this video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in another video.